this preview explains how you can create different uh, types of shapes in GIMP. So in GIMP, uh, like uh, unlike this uh, Photoshop, we don't have shapes in the toolbox. So to create the shapes, all you have to do is just use these rectangles and uh, ellipse uh, selection tools. Uh, and uh, you can also use this uh, path tool as well. So I will explain you how you can uh, use that to create the shapes. For example, uh, let us go for rectangle. So select the rectangle there and then uh, let us say you want to draw it like that. Now uh, to fill this rectangle, just right click and then click on edit, fill it with foreground color which is red so it will be filled with red color uh, fill with background color it will be filled with the background color let us fill with uh, background color and that's it our uh, this rectangle is generated to add the border all you have to do is just uh, right click then edit and then uh, you can apply the stroke stroke selection you can click on that and then here you can give this stroke size let us say 30 and you can see the border is also created to unselect whatever is selected you have to press command shift a in mac in different operating system for example if you are using gamepad windows there will be different shortcut key to unselect the things or you can also unselect from going here and then there will be find the shortcut key so you can see that to deselect everything uh, everything you can uh, do this command uh, shift a so that is how you create the rectangles and uh, now let us create the circles or ellipses the same way select it the ellipse tool and to make the perfect square you have to press shift key and then drag the mouse as you can see perfect circle is coming up and same way you can so you have to uh, release the mouse button first otherwise circle will not uh, perfect circle will not be generated press shift key drag and then uh, release the mouse first and then you should have a perfect circle and then same way you can fill this uh, with the foreground color then add the stroke to add the border so that's how you can create simple uh, shapes like a rectangle and then circle oval etc now to add say a hexagon or say different uh, type of shape you can actually basically create new shapes as well for example if you go here in the path selection tool path tool it is called so with that you can create new shapes for example let us create the hexagon so for that add the point just click here 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 and uh, press command key and then click on the first point it will uh, create this shape hexagon shape same way you can create different types of shapes actually after this i will tell you another example after that you have to go to select and then select from path so once the selection happens uh, you can uh, do the edit and uh, fill it with the uh, foreground color whatever so since our foreground color is red it is red is selected and then you can apply the border as well so that's how you can create this hexagon and uh, to create other shapes uh, you can uh, like custom shapes what you can do is uh, let me first undo that using control side you can undo these things now to add the custom uh, shape uh, let us add the triangle suppose again use this uh, path selection tool click there click there click here and then press command and click here and then the rectangle is created then you go to edit select uh, sorry select and then from path so the rectangle will be selected so here this point was missing so that's why it is not selecting the rectangle properly but uh, we can do that very easily this 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 and this then go to select from path and then the rectangle triangle will be selected same way you can also uh, create new new shapes uh, and also you can add the curves as well like that select edit from the uh, select from the path 
you can choose here and that's how you can create uh, different custom shapes all you have to do is make the selection and after the selection is done the rest of the steps are the same like fill it with the color and also uh, you can apply the stroke as well to add the border if you have more questions on this let me know through the comments thanks for watching this video